guys, welcome back to Insomniac Stream. Today's video is all about this flower body paint. I was originally inspired by cherry blossoms in spring, but admittedly kind of took the flowers to my own shape and design, so they ended up as whatever these are. Plus, I just really wanted to match my hair, so. Of course, I greatly appreciate all of you who like, comment, subscribe, and all that crazy wonderful stuff, but if you just wanna see how to create this look, then please keep watching. So to start off, I just primed my face with the NYX Hydra Touch Primer, and I started this look in my sweater while my space heater warmed up because my basement was freezing this day. Then taking the Makeup Forever Color White Cream Makeup on a damp beauty blender, I just applied this all over my face, making sure to remember to get my ears, and then set everything with my Ben Nye Neutral Set like I tend to do. And as I also always tend to do, I like to press the powder on top of the cream makeup with a powder puff just to make sure that it doesn't move any of the product I've already laid down. Then through the magic of makeup, one eye is already done because I didn't know what I was doing for this look and I made it up as I went. So I started with a NYX cream color. This one is just in, I don't know what it's in. In the color Love Overdose. Thank you, Google. And then I just went over that with the color Dolly Pop. This is a pressed shadow from Sugar Pell. And I just used this to set the cream as well as extend the pink color out and upwards along my eye. I then used a deeper red eyeshadow. This is from Suva Beauty. It's called Hookah. And I used this in the crease to better define the eye and extend the eye shape a little bit more towards my nose bridge. I also threw on a shimmer purple shadow on the outside of the eye, again, just to give a little bit more shape and definition to the eye. This kind of blended in and created a nice little gradient between the pink and purple. And then to add some sparkle to the eye, I went ahead and used an Electrocute pigment from Sugar Pill before following that with some glitter. I started with the Lit Glitter in ABBA, which has finer particles to reflect on my eyelid. And then I added some chunkier Gypsy Shrine glitter with a bit of lash glue to the top and underneath my eye. Then taking the Sigma Gel Liner as well as the winged liner brush that goes well with it, I just created two winged lines coming off of my eye. The bottom one I connected to my waterline, which I filled in in a little bit. And for the top, I just used a liquid liner to fully fill out the top so that it could go over the glitter a little bit easier. And I wanted to have a little bit of fun with the liner, so I did take a NYX Vivid Brights liner in light pink and just create a V shape in between the two black ones. And then I again used the Sigma Gel Liner to create an extra little V coming off of that. And I used the Vivid Brights liner to just add a little bit of dotting underneath for a bit more fun. To fill in my brows, I used a mix of Dolly Pop and 2AM from Sugar Pill just to give a little bit of a gradient to my brows and have it match my hair a little bit better. Then continuing with the Dolly Pop shadow, I just took this on a big fluffy brush and started adding the different definitions and contours to my face. So the areas I usually like to do are the sides of my cheeks, along my nose, as well as along my forehead. And on my nose, you can see I add a little bit more color to the bottom than I probably normally would, but that's just for the whimsy of this look. And mainly just for fun, let's be honest. With the face mostly taken care of, I was able to move on to my neck and chest. And for this, I again used the Makeup Forever Color White on a damp beauty blender and just made sure to set everything so that the shadows will be easier to blend on top. Because I wanted to go for an asymmetrical look, I decided to focus most of the colors to the one side of my body. I again was just using the Dolly Pop eyeshadow here, as well as jumping into a bit of Poison Plum that I used to deepen the contours on the sides of my cheek and just add a little bit more definition to this purple and pink that I was laying down along my neck and chest and I kind of angled it in a diagonal heading downwards, which was the way I knew I wanted the flowers and branches to eventually go. And speaking of flowers, it was now the time to start basing them out. So to do this, I took a Crivoline paint that I have, water activated, and it's just a light pink color. And I started creating the shapes that I wanted. Again, like I said at the beginning, these were originally inspired by cherry blossoms, but I ended up just kind of creating a flower that I enjoyed. I know this is not the actual cherry blossom shape but I found it easiest to make almost a star shape with the petals and just have them head down towards the center. And then when I had found the placements I liked and added a little extra one to my cheek, I went ahead and added white face paint. This one is just from Wolf to the centers of all of the flowers and I just dabbed it out with my finger while it was still wet. If it starts drying on you, you can just add a little bit of water to your finger and it becomes easier to kind of just pat out that color. And this created a little bit more of a bright gradient to the center of the flowers.
With the base for the flowers complete, I moved on to really defining each one. So to do this, I took a face paint in the color Plum on a fine detail brush, and I outlined the edges of the petals. I focused on getting the flat side of the petals most defined, and then I just flicked my brush towards the center of the flowers to lightly outline the sides. And then what I did was start using the shadows that I had been using throughout the makeup to create a gradient. I started with the hot pink and pulled it down towards the center with an angled liner brush. Then I moved on to 2AM and Poison Plum, which are just a darker magenta shadow and a deep purple. These colors I applied closer and closer to just the very edge of the petals so that the deepest purple was really only focused on that outside edge. This allowed me to maintain that look of a much brighter, kind of glowing center to the petals that we had started with adding that white from before. And then to really finish up each flower, I just made a center flare with the plum and used a white to highlight all the edges and create little pollen dots in the center. And that is how you create one of these flowers, which of course means you now have to move on to doing all of the others with these same steps. So depending on how many you based out, this could take a little while. But it is kind of really fun to watch them all come to life, so just enjoy the process. Here's some old school Insomniac stream, just watching stuff be made to nothing but music. No voiceover involved. Okay, and then here's the part that I actually was terrified to do because I wanted to add branches, but I was terrified I would screw it up. But I ultimately said, all right, let's go ahead with it. So to create the branching, I took a brown face paint. This one is from Wolf, and I actually used the same liner brush from Sigma that I had used for my eyeliner, and it actually was a perfect shape for this because it's a nice little like fine liner brush. And to create the branches, it's very similar to doing like veining, but you wanna make sure that the edges are a little bit more jagged. When you're doing a curve, instead of making it really organic and smooth, you wanna almost make it become a sharp corner turn. And this will give the effect more of branches. And you of course also want to have the thickest part of your branches be off to the side. And as you reach the very edges of them, you want to fade them off into these small, kind of dainty, little wispy branches to make it look like an actual tree. Of course, the worst part of body painting is when you suddenly really have to itch, but you know that you can't. And again, this is just continuing the process until it reaches a point that you are happy with and hopefully try to hit all of the flowers in some way so that they kind of look like they're actually connected or they could be off on their own falling off the tree, really whatever you're going for. And then because at this point, I truly wanted to drive myself insane. I decided to add little highlights to every single branch because they were just a little bit too flat when they were just brown. This again was a step that I was rather terrified of because I was afraid I would just end up making giant white sections and ruining all the branch work I had just done. So lots of terror in this look, but ultimately fun effects. And then of course, one of the last steps to do was just to add the lips. So for this, I used a Sigma liquid lipstick. This is called Fox Glove, and it was like the perfect color to complement the look. But then of course, I wanted to add a little bit more dimension, so I also threw on a NYX duochrome highlighter just on top to give a little bit of shine. Then throw in a pair of pink contacts, and you are finally done! You have reached the end of your flower blossom journey. Or at least I have. But that is it for my flower blossom look. Clearly in desperate need of spring already, I am tired of the cold weather. I want vitamin D and sunshine and flowers. Ooh, but more thunderstorms. Okay, now I'm getting off track. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I certainly hope you enjoyed this one. If you are new here, again, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. It makes a huge difference as well does anything from sharing, commenting to giving me a thumbs up or thumbs down just to let me know how you're feeling these videos. Cannot tell you how much I appreciate and adore you guys. Seriously, your support means absolutely everything. I am so, so grateful. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I, of course, will see you next video. So until then, bye guys.